the stormy ocean in the happy northern home our country men are running for to fight the wilds around i can see the union cruiser in the harbor at belfast and the orange flag of liberty is floating from the mast and the orange flag of liberty is floating from the mast Castle Dawson, Makara and Tobermore are as eager for the conflict as the wearing days of yore. Where the foul body men loyal to the throne, and the cry of full defiance could be heard in Port Dunone. And the cry of full defiance could be heard in Port Dunone. There's the fighting men of Garva and the sprigs of foil Kilray. With their armor brightly burnished and their flags and banners gay, like a roaring crowd of Arabs coming o'er their native hills, was heard in Nakadui Balam money and bush mills. Was heard in Nakadui Balam money and bush mills. On the streets of London Derry, there's a grand, inspiring scene. Our country men are arming to defend their maiden. Queen, with the wall so strongly guarded by defenders of the soil, and the cry of no surrender proudly echoes for the foil, and the cry of no surrender proudly echoes for the foil. Many's a loyal heart is throbbing in the town of Sweet Colerain, where the men of proven valour there assembled on the plain, could courageous self-reliant from the lips of fovery man, came a cry of foul defiance, rolling o'er the river band, a cry of foul defiance, rolling o'er the river band. Every country, town, and village in the throng of northern toast are preparing to defend themselves against the Redmond host. From the shores of Carrick Fergus to the borders of Loch there's a hundred thousand Irish men preparing for the fray. A hundred thousand Irish men preparing for the fray. All you loyal men of Ulster, you have offed your feather shone on the crimson field of battle as defenders of the crown. Put your trust in God above you, be courageous, calm and true. Then the North can bid defiance to John Redmond and Home Rule. Then the North can bid defiance to John Redmond.